Hi guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Ash. And this is F1 Fanatics. Welcome back to a special episode today and we are not in our usual surroundings as, um, well, you start your new job, don't you? I do, and I'm on Monday. Monday. Exactly, yeah. and we, um, well, we had to squeeze in the recording somehow, so my place was the convenience for getting the video done, so no nice backdrop today, just a yellow wall. No, it works. Hopefully the content is what kind of spurs you on rather than what's in the background as well. Hopefully I'm not clashing too much. Oh, fingers crossed. I don't think so. We should be alright. Uh, <laughs> but basically what we're going to do today, obviously with uh, China being cancelled and obviously we got our track comparison video coming out on Tuesday which we will compare China versus Imola on topic on this. But uh, we are going to look at um, six races, three each. Uh, that we think uh, could, well, maybe not realistically uh, replace China in the slot, but tracks that we might like to see back on the F1 calendar. Yeah, even if it is just to fill a gap so that we do get the full 23? 22. 22, yeah. They wanted 23. Correct. We'll get it eventually. We will do. But yeah, and it also needs to be, because one of our kind of reasons for the season that isn't out yet is the fact that it's a 22 race calendar exactly. for the first time which now it currently isn't. It's the same as last year now, isn't it? So yeah, we definitely need another race on there. Where they'll fit it in though? Don't know. Looking at the calendar, there isn't really a lot of space because the teams didn't like the triple header no. last year. So it's, um. it's a tough one, but we're going to put some ideas out there and we it's more just a kind of theoretical debate this one and we'd love to hear kind of some tracks that you guys would like to see even if it is for just a one-off come back onto the calendar so the first one I'll start off with this one because you know the most obvious one that's kind of been touted and that is Imola uh, they have put themselves forward to replace uh, the slot where the China Grand Prix is and um, I, I think for a lot of people Imola has a lot of nostalgic it is a kind of classic F1 track and it is part of F1 history. Uh, yes, it would kind of be like another uh, Italian Grand Prix. It's uh, or is it San Marino? It's San Marino, but it did used to be yeah. classified, yeah. is it? Yeah. So, uh, but you know, it's had some fantastic races over the time, and I, I think you know, and obviously we'll some tragedy as well back in 1994. But it is one that I think F1 fans absolutely loves. Would it be good for modern F1 cars? That's up for debate. But you it was can argue. Narrow circuit, wasn't it? Like, yeah, but you can argue. Is Monaco great for racing? Maybe not necessarily not. But you know, a lap of Imola is uh, quite a speedy lap, and uh, yeah, a nostalgic and part of F1 history. So for one year. Just to kind of get Imola back on the calendar, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it would be, but I'm going to go for a nice and obvious one. Hockenheim. We lost it from last year's calendar, and in recent years we've had some really good races there. Yes, last year was mainly weather related, but if you're looking at where you can fill gaps, you've obviously got the weekend the Chinese Grand Prix was. So, you know, April. Weather's not great potential for rain, have another one like it, or it's going to end up being later in the season, so once again we're starting to get to the winter time. So once again, weather related, could just fit in perfectly into the calendar, it'll be like just carrying on as usual. It will be. And my second one, sticking on the German theme, is going to be the Nürburgring. And <laughs> look, the Nürburgring for me is the better racetrack for modern F1 cars uh, compared to Hockenheim. I think Hockenheim in recent years has benefited massively from the weather conditions but the actual passing and stuff on track is a little bit more difficult there. I believe DTM currently race at Nürburgring and it may just be because it's fresh in my memory uh, but I remember they, the two feature races they had over the weekend there were really kind of fantastic, uh, great races, and turn one certainly would be 
uh, a really great overtaking spot for F1 cars. So I'd be a fan of seeing that German Grand Prix return. And how about adding another American race? So how about if we were to go back to Indy and do the street circuit? It's been done before. America is a big market that we are no doubt going to end up with another race there. If you look at how Liberty are going about the Miami, they've been saying that in the past, it's, um, F1 have been saying they're looking at going to New York. Obviously, there was the not so great Vegas Grand Prix. So it's one where they're touting another American race. It's a track that's been used before. Lots of American fans would end up going to that. So it's the marketing push that Liberty will want and Formula One as a brand. So it's another one where it can fit in nicely and how the calendar is actually formed, it's not the worst position because it would just be like doing the fly over to Canada between, what is Canada between this year, France and Monaco? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so it would work, it would end up being the same sort of process as would be used for that. So it would be a good option there. I think, yeah, the Indy race certainly is... China is a market that obviously F1 looked to exploit and expand. Well, exploit is probably the wrong word, but it's probably the right word. Um, but yes, obviously America is a big market that they're targeting, so a chance to kind of get it, even if it was for you know just the short term of that one year, it probably would be a good one for them to go. My last one is going to be a return of Istanbul, and I believe this is... Uh, from what I kind of gather, is a popular one amongst fans that they would enjoy seeing it return. I think for modern F1 cars, it is a track that certainly um, would lend itself to kind of good racing. And whenever people kind of discuss, throw out these discussions, for me, it's always a track that kind of is in and around that discussion and is thought fondly of. And yeah, I think, you know, it, yes, it's another European Grand Prix and obviously, you know, Two of mine have been European Grand Prix. Um, but yeah, it would be fantastic to see Istanbul back on the calendar. Okay, and then we'll add another European Grand Prix, shall we? Yeah. How about if we were to go to France for a second race and actually change the configuration? Now, since we've gone back to Paul Ricard, the racing hasn't been great. That's fair enough. But that track has how many different configurations? I believe it's 165. Don't quote me on that, but it's around that region. There we go. One of those has to give us good racing. Like, it's the balance of probabilities on that. Yeah, but should, you've got, shouldn't we get one right first? Give them two shots of getting it right. <laughs> <laughs> but what if they get them both wrong? Then we know not to use those configurations next year. And Every year we go back, change it until we find the one that works. So in 160 seasons of F1, well, no, we're doing no, two. Just, if we're doing only two, been 80. Yeah, -ish. but if we find the one that works, we don't have to change it again, do we? Well, yeah. So, you know, it, worst case scenario, it could be 80 seasons searching yeah. Paul Ricard for the perfect. What what we get to the end of that, and there is, we just realised Paul Ricard is a terribly designed track and there's nothing good. Then we take it off the calendar and we bring back a track. It seems a very long-winded way of getting there. But fair enough. Yeah, Ashley's um, kind of maximising the potential to find a good layout at Paul Regard. Or the other option, that's Marina. It's just thrown out. We didn't plan this one. That's got how many different configurations? And that, that really is one that should be changed because the location is incredible. There we go. Yeah, then. So we'll do the same process. If we're going to be filling in a gap near the end of the season... Yeah, it makes sense. Why not do a back-to-back? Yes, -back? this is seriously this one we hadn't discussed. I thought of it on the fly, but back-to-back -back, Yas Marina, two different configurations. You never know. It'll be like going back to Bernie's double points. Yeah, it it would be because we got two races there, and um, well, that's kind of our mental kind of chat that we've as. As always on F1 Fanatics, we think we, of something else halfway through a video. We, we, we don't script and plan these things. We, we have an idea of what we say and then we kind of get there and something random comes out at a good point. But we hope you enjoyed that and interest, as always, it's kind of like a throw on to you guys now. We've started the debate, we've put out some tracks that we think would be good to replace it. We're not sure obviously where they would come into the calendar, but obviously the European ones you'd assume somewhere fitting on the European calendar or the kind of 
America or uh, oh, we didn't even put Malaysia in there. There we go. See, there's so many. Malaysia's got to be in there somewhere. We're going to start listing these off now. You can go Bereth. You can go. You said it, India. I honestly didn't like the track. I'm but... talking about the market, export the market. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, there's a couple of more names for you. But basically, guys, we'd love to hear from you and what your tracks you would like to see. If it's more than one, put them in a ranking order of maybe your top three tracks that you would like to kind of see return that are your contenders um, for filling the void left by the Chinese Grand Prix this year. And if they're new around here, Ash, what can they do? You can press the subscribe button so our videos go into your YouTube inbox. And if you press the bell icon next to them, you'll get a notification when one of our videos goes live and we'll be talking about something F1 related. It always is, whether or not it's something sensible. Yeah. You have to tune in to find out. Exactly. And guys, uh, don't forget you can like the video, it lets us know, or dislike, you know, you, you dislike an idea or video, it lets us know that maybe that one's thrown in the bin and back to the drawing board. Um, but yes, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video. And for now, UF1 fans, keep racing! <laughs>